The most important statistics by which baseball players are evaluated and measured are no longer simply batting average, fielding percentage, or earned run average. Instead, sabermetrics have replaced the old box score standbys. And no sabermetric stat is more important than war, or wins above replacement. Basically, the stat is intended to estimate a player's total value to a team. The literal and numerical evidence of how valuable a player's on-field contributions are relative to that of the below average player who could be easily called up from the minors as a replacement if a regular player were injured. Now let's see how that value is actually calculated. The war rating scale is measured on the basis of wins contributed to a team. The base level, usually representing a low caliber player, starts at zero wins contributed during a 162 game season. The top ranked players in the league, the superstars, usually have a war of six or higher. However, being a superstar doesn't necessarily mean that a player will garner a high war rating. Case in point, the former face of the New York Yankees, Derek Jeter. In his last two years before retiring, Jeter actually posted successive negative war ratings, which essentially meant that he was more valuable to his team off the field than he was on. War takes everything into account. Every facet of the player's game, playing conditions over the course of a season, ballpark dimensions, it's a fully comprehensive representation of one's impact on the game and their team. Now, here's the mathematical equation used to calculate a player's war average. This is the trickiest part of the whole thing. It looks complicated, and it is. Each of those categories also has a corresponding formula that is pretty mind-bendingly complicated. So that said, let's break war down in layman's terms. It's based on runs contributed to one's team through batting, base running, fielding, and pitching. So yeah, production and statistical categories are important and factor into the final war number, but so is the position one plays, the ballpark they call home, and the league in which they play. This is the best way to calculate a player's actual value. Once all of those numbers are crunched, we're left with a figure that is then divided by another stat called runs per win, which, you guessed it, is meant to represent the average number of runs required to win a game in that given year. And voila, out pops a player's war. So, let's use Angels outfielder Mike Trout as our case study for War's ability to accurately reflect a player's value. Trout had the overall highest war of any position player in the major leagues in 2014, so he's a bright, shiny example of the importance of war and its reliability in projecting value. He was also last year's American League MVP. This guy goes out there all out, all the time. Just a three-year major league veteran, the 6'3", 220-pound Trout is arguably already the best player in baseball. An all-star from 2012 to 2014, he hit 287 with 36 home runs and 111 runs batted in last year. All great numbers that put him near the top across all three of baseball's most vaunted hitting metrics, but none were MLB highs. Once war is calculated though, we see that Trout's rating of 7.87 was the highest in the league by a wide margin, well ahead of other stars like Adrian Beltre, Andrew McCutcheon, and Miguel Cabrera. That's some pretty good company to keep, let alone beat. But make no bones about it, this is the game's best all-around player. In addition to its value as a tool for Moneyball-style roster building, War is widely regarded by modern stats gurus as the best way to determine each league's MVP at the end of the season. However, it's still only a peripheral stat for some. In 2012 as a rookie, Trout's truly insane War of 10.9 wasn't enough to beat out Miguel Cabrera as MVP. Instead, the appeal of rewarding Cabrera's semi-historic Triple Crown won out among voters. To me, he is the most valuable player, and I know Trout's had an unbelievable year, but uh, to me, Miguel Cabrera is, without a doubt, the most valuable player in the American League. In this case, traditional statistics beat sabermetrics, despite Trout besting Cabrera by more than three points, a seeming indication that Trout's overall value transcended Cabrera's impact on the game. The same thing happened again in 2013, with Trout outwarring Cabrera, but the Tiger Slugger took home the most valuable player honors once again. But then 2014 was the year that Trout finally broke through his MVP. Just the 10th time ever a unanimous MVP, Mike Trout. Writing that two year wrong and demonstrating that MVP voters were finally starting to realize what all of baseball stat heads have banked on for years. Sabermetrics is the best way to measure a player's talent and on-field contributions.